Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet again another edition of Weekly Wishlist or Washout. You can't even see my ears. If you're new to the channel or if you haven't seen the series before, what I do is once a week, every Wednesday, go through all of the new beauty releases that I see on Instagram and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wish list or if I think everything's a total washout. Before we jump into this week's video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like this weekly series and if you have any you'd like to, I hope you would consider subscribing so you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday and for the month of December, I'm trying to post a video every day for the rest of the month. Just a heads up, I am filming this Monday morning. Normally I film these Tuesday and I get them up Wednesday morning, but Tuesday at work is going to be a bit nuts. We've got a big client coming in for a meeting, so I have to go in early and I'll be staying until really late because we're doing a dinner, so I'm not going to have enough time to edit and film everything Tuesday. So just to let you know, if there's anything big that happens to drop, which I'm sure there is, something always drops the minute I like finish filming these, <laughs> but if something big is announced on Tuesday, it's not going to be in this video. I'll probably have to carry it over to next week's video, or you can mention it in the comments below and then I can respond in the comments too. All right, so first things first, I'm starting with Trend Mood and I think we're going to just start with a product that the minute I saw it released, I bought. This is the new palette from Juvia's Place, and it's the Tribe. I think it's just called the Tribe palette, right? I think so. Yeah, so it was only $20. I got it when it was still on, there was still a sale going on. And I think, I don't know if I had to pay shipping or not, but I remember it was, it was dirt cheap. Dirt cheap. And look at that green. I will say that first row sold me. You got a yellow, an orange, and a green. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Oh, okay. So I already bought that. So it's, it should actually, I got the shipping confirmation yesterday, I think. So I should have that by the end of the week. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see like a full video on that. I know I've got so many palette videos coming up tomorrow when you guys are watching this actually the full wet and wild palette video will be coming out and then the week after i'm currently filming the video on the alien palette i'm wearing the alien palette on my eyes right now i wanted to do a more smoky look with it and then a more neutral like a wearable to work look with it so that should be coming out the week after I'll throw another poll up towards the end of the year asking you guys what palettes you want to see next because I think that was a lot of fun using the community tab to ask you what palette reviews you want to see first. So we finally saw the full... Oh, is my battery going to die? Son of... Okay, sorry about that. My camera already died. That's the kind of morning that we're having. It's Monday. It's a very Monday Monday. So we finally saw a full look of this new Becca highlighter that we saw just a little bit of a couple of weeks ago and not interested. Like I, like I said before, I don't like it when they mix all these different colors of powder together because you can mix it together, you might end up with a nice color or you might not. It just, I, I don't like it. <laughs> I really don't. That being said, if you like this kind of thing, the Becca formula is incredible. One of my holy grail highlighters is from Becca. It's just not a mixture of shades like that. Oh my god, I haven't picked this up yet. I said I was going to pick up the Nudes Volume 2, but where was my mind on Friday? I hope it's still in stock because <laughs> I do want to pick up that bundle. It's some really nice dark shades that I think would look really pretty like in the middle of winter. Huh, I like it. I used to be so afraid of like darker nudes and browns, but recently I've been really liking them. So Zoeva has a new collection, I guess, that just dropped. It's called the Spice of Life Collection. And honestly, I'm looking at this and I'm like, what about this is spicy? Right? Uh, I honestly, okay, so I'll be honest. I love the bag with like the brushes that looks interesting that looks very cute i'm a big fan of like travel kits and travel bags even though i don't travel as much as i used to i will be traveling for like a big work event in february i think it's gonna be to florida not quite sure i think it's gonna be florida or california not sure yet but i will be traveling that week so i can do an updated like what's in my travel makeup bag i'll probably have to do a weekly wow on the road <laughs> just since that's where I'll be for most of the week. But that being said, I'm, I'm always a sucker for a good travel bag, even though I really don't need one. So that's like the only thing in this collection that's interesting to me. The rest of it is just kind of like, okay. So Fenty came out with another new shade of the Gloss Bomb. Honestly, 
for someone who doesn't wear gloss too often i'm not gonna go out and buy another one i still have the original gloss balm which i do love whenever i'm actually going for a glossy lip but honestly i'm not really going for glossy lips too often i'm, I'm going for a nice comfortable matte has been my go-to recently and my two favorite formulas for that have been the fenty and the jeffree star that's just what i've been reaching for i feel like maybe i'll make that a goal for 2019 is to branch out and do some more glossy lips and do some other different types of lips but eh, as of late i'm not been into the gloss i have a bunch of glosses that i don't touch so i definitely don't need another gloss so this is a brand i've never tried before but i was just scrolling through and i saw this compact and i was intrigued this is from by terry expensive fancy never tried them before not sure i will but this compact right here, I think it's just a regular face powder, finishing powder, but it looks gorgeous. It looks gorgeous. It's got like little roses embedded in it. <sighs> See, that looks pretty. I don't know when or if I'll ever try by Terry, <sighs> but I want to at least try like one or two things from the brand. I am going to do like a live stream I think by the end of the year or maybe in January about like nine brands I want to try in 2019 and I want to include both Charlotte Tilbury and By Terry on that list because I still haven't really actually tried Charlotte Tilbury. I've been like on the cusp of it and just I haven't pulled the trigger yet. Prices. But this powder looks intriguing but honestly I don't know anything about By Terry. I need to do some research. I need to look into it because I know it's a fancy brand. And that's about it. That's about all that I know. <laughs> so apparently Zara just came out with a makeup line. If you don't know what Zara is, it's a store that's kind of like a little bit fancier version of Forever 21. Very fast fashion. And I feel like a lot of these kinds of stores have come out with their own makeup line. Like Urban, Urban Outfitters came out with their own makeup line. H&M has their own makeup line. So... I mean, it's not surprising that they came out with one, but honestly, I rarely shop at Zara just because the ones nearby, they're always messy. I don't, like, if I'm going to the mall, I don't want to, like, have to dig through, like, clothing racks and everything that are messy just to try and find an outfit. If I'm going to the mall, I'm in the mindset of everything's going to be kind of neat and set, and I should be able to find what I need. Whereas, if I'm going to, like, a TJ Maxx or a Marshalls, I'm like, okay, I'm in the mindset where I know I'm going to have to, like, dig for something, but I want to find a good deal. So that's kind of like why Zara is like in that middle of the road kind of area for me. I'm not really that interested, but I would be interested in popping in to see what their makeup line looks like. Since I do have one locally in our mall, I, I always, all I really see here are lipsticks. I don't know if they're coming out with a whole new like line or if it's just going to be lipsticks. I got to look into that. Oh, so I was so excited to see this. So guys, the Pantone color of the year for 2019 is Living Coral. Ah, I love coral. I love coral blush. I love coral lipsticks. I love coral nail polish. I'm really excited for this color of the year. I think it's going to be so cute. And the picture of the model of like the, the, the nail polish and the lipstick, I'm excited. I am very excited. I definitely want to get a nice coral lipstick and I don't know if I'd actually buy a nail polish. I might like for the spring. I think that'd be such a pretty nail polish color for the spring, but I really want to focus in 2019 on more peachy and corally blushes and I am currently planning on panning one that I have in my collection for my year long for my year-long project pan which is just awesome timing because i picked that before the color of the year came out and now it's like oh that's perfect <laughs> so this is something that's kind of random and out of the blue i've never heard of this brand it's from glam light and they have coming out with something called the pizza palette so it's an eyeshadow palette that looks like a pizza <laughs> i will say if you look at just the shades like it is pretty intriguing pretty intriguing i do like the look of that yellow and some of like the green and they're all named after toppings which i think is quite adorable but i, I don't know if i'll ever actually get it but it's a very cute idea <laughs> and it's different it's very different this palette intrigued me from ace butte ace butte ace butte ace butte 
they are coming out with the flare palette 15 shades it looks gorgeous i love that bottom row the blues the green and like the yellow i love that mustard shade see what keeps me from pulling the trigger on some indie brands is that this is so expensive it's 38.99 I mean, I know I shouldn't be expecting indie brands, especially because they have so much more overhead than like regular already established brands. But I, I will admit the price does hold me back because it is going to be a bit of a try for me. It's going to be different. I don't know 100% how the quality is going to be. And there's also shipping. There's not going to be free shipping. I know that. It's going to be shipping. So I don't know. This is the one palette from Ace that I am interested enough to look into buying. They have come out with a few other palettes and none of them really called to me before this one. I'm getting very like subculture kind of vibes from this one. So I'm going to look into it. I think it'd be very cute. But again, that $38.99 plus shipping is going to be a bit, it's, it's going to be a bit steep. So MAC is coming out with a Lunar New Year collection. And just by looking at this photo, looking at that like blush contour palette it's the exact same thing as what they came out with patrick star like this is what i have right here right and this is the picture they literally just like repackaged it Okay, so switching over to Indie Makeup Spotlight now. I'm looking at a makeup palette or an eyeshadow palette from Max Up The Makeup Cosmetics. Honestly, I've been a bit annoyed. Like, there's no real reason to spread out a reveal over the course of, like, days and weeks. Like, they're literally showing one shade of a palette at a time. So while now I'm looking at the palette and it looks kind of cute... Just the fact that it's taken, like, I feel like it's been at least two, two, three weeks where they're just showing, like, one shade, one shade, one shade, one shade. Like, that just annoys me. Like, just show me what the palette looks like, and then I can decide whether or not to buy it. Don't just drag it out, because then you're just making expectations too high, and you're never going to live up to them. So, Winky Lux is coming out with three new palettes, and I think I tried a Winky Lux palette in, like, a BoxyCharm, some sort of subscription a while ago. The quality was okay, but, like, none of the shades here are calling out to me. They look like fairly basic palettes, and I know Winky Lux is it's up there in price, so I don't think I'm going to be reaching for any of these. Okay, so these sponges from Just Peachy Cosmetics look adorable, but I know, like, I feel like these would get so dirty so fast, they would be, like, really difficult to clean, too. I feel like they would never look that nice again, ever. And I still have my Holy Grail makeup sponge from A Shop Miss A. I have 10 of them, 11 now. And seriously, they're, you can't get any better than that. They're a dollar. And they're amazing. Seriously. So this palette from Give Me Glow Cosmetics is gorgeous. It just screams Christmas. It's called Christmas Morning. It looks adorable. It's $36. And it's already out of stock. <laughs> oh. Alrighty. It is a little bit mad that you only get free shipping if you spend $100. I feel like that's a bit steep. It's a bit steep. But it's already sold out, so... Well, it was, it was pretty well it lasted. So I spent a while looking at these swatches thinking, like, they were photoshopped. But, I mean, you can see there's, like, you can see the edges a little bit, but still. Does anyone else not really like swatches like this? Just me. So this is new from Blush Tribe. They're coming out with Neon Matte Pigments. So I'm assuming that's basically just going to be like a pressed pigment. I hope it's not a loose pigment. I don't really like loose anything. I don't like loose glitters, loose pigments. Because they're just unnecessarily messy. You can get the same amount of payoff. You can get gorgeous looks from pressed pigments and from pressed glitters. Not pressed glitters, but like shimmers. <laughs> pressed glitters are just messy. So Makeup Maniac Cosmetics is coming out with a new palette called the Peanut Butter and Jealous Palette. It's, it's an adorable name. It's adorable. I just I have no idea what the shades are going to be. They still have to like release it or I guess show what the palette's going to look like. But I'm intrigued. I think it's a cute idea. I think if they put in some interesting shades and set up the palette nicely maybe some cute packaging this could be very cute especially like as a present now that we're here in the holidays 
I think it's gonna be, it could be adorable. But then again, I've eaten my words before. It's just, I, I see, like, that's the thing. Like, when it comes to, like, premieres like this, it's just... I mean, what's the line where you're building up too much anticipation? Like, what makes a good release? Do we know anymore? I feel like we're just constantly being bombarded with new releases that... Like, it's hard to tell what is a good release versus a meh release. I could do a video on that. Hmm. All right, guys, and I'm going to leave it at that for now. Let me know down below if there's anything that I missed. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. Don't forget to come back tomorrow because the full video, the full review of all of the new Wet n Wild palettes will be live again right before 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you again, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.